Hi, I'm Kyle from KC Tool and I'm here with a closer look at Weha's selection of screwdrivers. I had to leave out the multi-bit and the multi-blade systems in interest of time. We'll have to tackle those in another video. Today we're just going to be talking about traditional screwdrivers. And uh, for comparison's sake, we're going to have them all in it with a Phillips tip. All these are going to be number two Phillips and these are double zero Phillips with the exception of the ceramic which is uh, size zero. So let's get started with the precision screwdrivers. This is Weha's basic precision screwdriver. The tip on these is extremely durable and that's the difference uh, in this precision screwdriver. The fact that the tips don't wear out uh, like other screwdrivers, uh, it, it just makes a huge difference, especially when you're doing it professionally. The handle here has a rotating cap, really smooth rotating cap. Uh, it's got a tapered handle. The small section here is great when you got to drive a bunch of screws in quickly or out quickly. Um, having a small handle diameter like this really gives you a lot of speed. The blade's a hardened CVM steel and um, the blade is also hard chrome finished. The ESD version has the same basic features uh, as a yellow cap and the handle is ESD safe for use around sensitive electronics. Even if you're not around sensitive electronics, uh, a lot of times it's nice to have this option uh, for identification. These are not labeled. I mean, they do say the size here. Uh, they're not labeled on the cap. So I, sometimes what I would do is I would have all my torques with the yellow cap and everything else with the red cap just so I could easily know which ones are torques and which ones aren't. Uh, the next thing here is ceramic. It is their precision ceramic screwdriver. It's anti-static and anti-magnetic. This is only available in a few slotted and Phillips sizes, but uh, if you need something like that, then that's great. This is the premier precision screwdriver. This is the best screwdriver you can get in these sizes. Um, what I really love about it is that the cap is labeled and it's color coded with the style and size of the tip on it. This has the dual material handle, uh, the red part here and the inside below this black part is the solid molded handle. But then it's got this, uh, they call it the cushion grip or soft finish. It's not squishy, but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not squishy, but it's soft to the touch. It feels really nice on your hand and it gives really good grip. The other thing that's great about this handle is the large section here that is really small, yeah, the, the large small section. Uh, but what I mean is that it's the diameter is small and again, that allows you to have more rotation uh, for every movement with your finger and you can really drive screws quickly in and out with this. Same uh, CVM steel blade and hard chrome finished on this. That rounds out the precision screwdrivers. Moving on to the uh, traditional screwdrivers here. Like I said, these are all number two Phillips and they all have a 100 millimeter blade for comparison's sake. Now, this is Weha's most popular screwdriver. It's uh, their soft finish line. The handle is really comfortable. The solid molded core is this red part here and below this, of course. And um, again, it's got the soft finish. This black area is the soft finish, really soft to the touch. Again, it's not squishy, but it's really grippy. It helps you uh, apply a lot of torque to your fastener. It's also got roll-off protection, which is basically just a flat area. So if you lay it down on a sloped surface, it's not going to roll away on you. Um, the valley feels great with my index finger and my thumb. And the handle here feels really nice at my palm. It's a really comfortable screwdriver. You can definitely use this all day long without issue. The blade here is a super hardened CVM steel. Uh, it's also hard chrome finished and the tips, I'm not going to say it on every one of these screwdrivers uh, because they're all, all these tips are going to last an extremely long time. That's one thing that's hard about screwdrivers is that you can't really tell the difference just by looking at them. You can't look at this tip. I mean, maybe you can a little bit, but uh, for the most part it looks the same as a screwdriver you'd get down at a big box store. But the difference is that this tip is not going to wear out like that. It's going to last an extremely long time. The soft finish is also available in uh, Heavy Duty, which has a hex blade, which is uh, made on hex stock, and it's a little bit stronger. It's also got a hex bolster here, uh, if you need to stick a wrench on there to get a little added leverage. 
Otherwise, the handle has the same basic features. This also comes in an extra heavy-duty version, which has a metal striking cap and all of the same other features as the heavy-duty. This is a little bit heavy to hold because it's solid metal all the way through, but it's extremely heavy-duty. The soft finish line also comes in ESD safe. This one has basically the same features as the standard soft finish, except it is ESD safe for use around sensitive electronics. Here we have the insulated version, and all these tools are individually tested to 10,000 volts. They rate them at 1,000 volts AC or 1,500 volts DC. And uh, the handle is basically the same. On this one, the yellow part is the solid molded core. This red is the soft finish. And uh, you can see the insulation here on the blade. There's also a slimline version of the insulated tool, which has the, this one has the insulation integrated into the blade, which allows you to get in tight spots a little bit better than the standard insulated screwdriver. It goes up about an inch and a half from the tip. So if you've got a recessed screw that you need to get to, this may be a little bit too thick. This one's going to fit in there. Uh, and then it starts to widen out up here. Same handle, uh, same features on the handle. And then rounding out the soft finish line is going to be the stainless steel. And the handle is the same. Um, it's a different color, obviously. But what's really important here is that this blade is, is made entirely of stainless steel. So if you're working outdoors, you've got to leave them outdoors. It's not going to rust. The other thing is that sometimes people don't know is if you use a regular screwdriver on a stainless screw, there's some microscopic particles that can be left behind that can be left behind from the screwdriver and those can rust so you can have a stainless screw outside and still have rust if you've ever seen that that's probably what caused it moving on from there this handle looks the same but instead of a soft finish zone it's got a micro finish zone and this is a patented technology from Weha and it's really awesome if you're a mechanic or you're working in wet or oily conditions, you pretty much have to get this screwdriver. Uh, if you search the forums, you'll see a lot of mechanics um, really raving about this. This is uh, kind of rough to the touch, but if you're, like I said, if you're working in oily or wet conditions, the slip resistance you get from this handle can't be matched. It's fantastic. Other than that, uh, same basic shape of the handle, same CVM steel blade, hard chrome finished. And the micro finish also comes in the extra heavy duty with the striking cap and hex bolster and hex blade. Next up, we got the 3K Ergonomic Series. I really like this handle. It's got two valleys. This one's great in the index finger and thumb. Your middle finger feels great in the next one and the rest of it feels great in your palm. The shape of it is a hex shape and that gives you a little added um, ability to transfer the torque. On this one, the blue section is the molded core, it's hard plastic, and the black is the same soft finish material. So it's definitely a comfortable handle. Now this one does have a chrome plated blade and machined black tips. This is the least expensive uh, screwdriver that Weha offers in this size. Another thing that some people love about it is that it's got a hanging hook. So if you store your screwdrivers on a pegboard, then uh, the hanging hook is a really great feature. This one also has roll-off protection, and this comes in a couple different colors um, for the hex drivers, because you can't really tell by looking at the tip uh, if it's a metric or an inch hex, so they offer the hex drivers in a different color handle. That reminds me, actually, the soft finish does the same for hex and for Torx Plus, because Torx Plus is also a little bit hard to identify uh, with your eye, just looking at the tip. So they do offer a couple different colors for that, for easy identification. And something I forgot to mention is that the soft finish has the tip size and style um, on the end here, which is a feature that I really like. Back to the 3K ergonomic series. They have another version, which is uh, they call ACO or anti cam out. And what that is, is a tip that's got a bunch of little grooves on it. I'm going to have to post a picture, a close-up picture of this so you can see what I'm talking about. 
But what it does is it grips the screw head better, so when you're really torquing a screw, it won't slip out on you or cam out on you. Well, I mean, it still can, but it's going to make it a little bit better. Next up is the dynamic grip, and this is one of my favorites. I really like this screwdriver for light duty, high volume work. Uh, like I replaced a bunch of wall outlets in a house the other day, and they've got them really long screws, and you can get them out really quickly with this. It's got a rotating cap and a narrow um, handle here that allows you the speed that you need to drive or um, remove long screws. Now when you do need to torque it down, it's got this larger diameter part here so you can grab on this. You can get some pretty good torque on it. Now it's not going to give you the same amount of torque that these other drivers are, but like I said, this is my go-to for light duty work, high volume work where you know you're going to be doing a lot of um, spinning. Last but not least is the square and this has a extremely heavy duty cellulose acetate handle that's impact resistant cvm steel blade and this is the only one in the lineup that's got a nickel plated blade that's a closer look at the different features of weha screwdrivers uh, we got a really good selection of everyday use screwdrivers We've got uh, the micro finish screwdrivers which are great for mechanics or oily conditions we got stainless steel we got precision um, pretty much everything you could want all these screwdrivers have Weha's lifetime warranty. They're all extremely high quality. Uh, we talked about how just by looking at a screwdriver, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell uh, if it is a high quality screwdriver or not. Obviously these have a lot of features built in, but really the most important thing when you're using a screwdriver uh, is the durability. And this is the way that the tip is designed, how precisely machined that tip is. And when you stick it in a screw, is it going to fit exactly in there and stay in there and not want to cam out on you and pop out? You can see these fit really well. Um, I invite you to try one, buy one, see if you like it. I know you will. I guarantee you'll like it. I guarantee you'll love it. And uh, you probably won't want to use anything else. Thanks for watching. Wow, you just sat through over 12 minutes of me talking about screwdrivers. You must love tools as much as I do, so let me reward you with a 10% off coupon on your next order at kctoolco.com. Just enter coupon code BORING at checkout, and we'll give you 10% off. Thanks a lot.